Ready for a chuckle? It's Karen's and Kevin's o'clock. Get comfy as we dive into their quirky world for another dose of laughter therapy. Starting with the pettiest of the bunch, it's a penny. One regular cent. My this McDonald's and um, I just give him, gave him a 10. He just dropped all the change on the floor. So he's telling me to pick it up and I said, no, I'm not going to pick it up. And I asked him to give me my $10 back and now he said no. And he's just serving people in front of me. See, he's serving people in front of me and he's refusing to give me my change back. And they are in there laughing. I'm just, I'm just asking me to get, to give me my, I'm just, he 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 dropped it. I don't know what, I just need my $10 back. So I'm just asking my, I was asking for my money back. You want everything back? I just want my money back. That's it. So that's what I was asking. So I don't know why he was doing that. You want to do that because you're crying about I'm not crying. I'm not crying. And I'm not your bro. And I'm not your buddy. No, I'm not. You can't face you. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I use any cuss word toward you. I'm professional. I'm professional. I'm not crying. I'm being professional. I'm being quiet. Please, can you move? Because there's cars behind you. That's how, that's how you're supposed to be talking. I'll, I'll deal with it. You got your don't, money Don't back. start yelling at so, me. So please move because I need to take care of those. How will we be moving? It blows my mind that people like this are even real. Man. When doing your job goes wrong. See the garbage? Ma'am. Get the garbage. Ma'am. And you throw it in the garbage can. Ma'am. Do you understand? You have a nice day. You you're a savage animal. Israel Pasika, Oko Kupsika. Ah, I understand your f***ing dialect. You're a blow up doll. Ma'am. You're not even a human being. Ma'am. Shut the f*** up. Ma'am, please have a shut nice day. Shut up. Ma'am, please. I am leaving and shut the f*** up. I run you over with the truck. Ma'am, please. This is what happens when the manager, the Karen's only ally in situations like these, aren't on their side. This unprofessional supposed manager just called me a bitch, a customer. This unprofessional supposed ghetto person called me a bitch, called me a bitch. No, you're not going to call me a bitch no more? Exactly, exactly. Call me a bitch again. The supposed manager, the supposed manager just called me a bitch. The supposed manager just called me a bitch. Bye. Let me see my card. Bye. Bye. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I don't care what you do. 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 It's not against the law to record. It's not against the law to record, Jasmine. It's not against the law to record. Touch me. I dare you to. I will call the cops. I will call the cops. I will call the cops. What is going on? I will call the cops. I dare you to touch me or my phone. Who's touching you? Touch me. Who's touching you? Touch me. This manager is putting her hand in my face. Look at this. Who is putting her hand in your face? Putting your hand in my face. Look at this. Putting her hand in my face. Yes? Putting her hand in my face. It's not against the law to record. No, she's on my It's not against the law to record. It's not against the law to record. Manager of an establishment called me a bitch. Why do Karens have to have dogs? I always end up feeling sorry for the animal in this situation. Are you going to buy that stuff? Paper, I'm going to steal it. Yes, I'm going to 
five. You know what? No, you're not because you're cussing like that and you're using that kind well, of language. Don't follow me. You just leave, lady, or I'll call the police and God have you arrested damn. for trespassing. I'm just trying to buy something. Yeah, what kind of language is that to use? We don't like that. Why did you just get in my face? Why did you let her do this in my face? Because this is what you let your employee do to my face. While you're following me. What is that? That's called profiling. I have a right to walk up to the get to the front and buy something when you drop without the you attacking me. When you drop the F bomb, hey lady. No you know, you. Listen. You, hear that? you know what? I'm you know so you. you. Okay. You're not allowed in the store anymore. I don't give a Thank you and have a nice day. So oh, and by the way, happy oh, Valentine's. From one Karen with a dog to another, this one has beef with the trainer. I don't answer for 12 minutes the first time, and you freak out. I know. And then I say, hey, this is how it's going to have to be. Like, I work all day. I have dogs that are constantly being worked. I can't sit on my phone and do messages and phone calls. And, emails and you know all what? Day. I was incredibly wrong. I get that, but then... It happened again, except it was 20 minutes the next time, and then you called the police so, on me, or at least threatened to call the police on well, me. You just bored him. Your car stopped driving here. Yes, it did. How'd yeah. you get to Sault Ste. Marie then? Can we please start? No, I'm sorry. You, you can either sit here right now. So they bored him. For how long? As long as you were going to train him, and I would appreciate you training him. I'm not training him. You're more than welcome to take him. I'm encouraging you to take him with you. My God. I can't work with you. I already tried multiple times. No, please, please, please. I will do anything. I am going to give me my dog and I will call the police. About what? You are being manipulative. How? <laughs> Give me my dog. I want him now. Alright. And you're gonna have to put him in the car because I don't have a leash. Your leash is right here, ma'am. Jack boy, I saw you. And this. I will make sure that everyone knows that you are manipulative. This is my dog. And please go ahead. I want you to come out and meet the cab driver. Please. Yes. You have been incredibly rude. Please turn that off. This is an invasion of privacy and I did not give you permission to photo me. Actually, you signed a contract that says that nope, exactly. No, I did not give you now permission. I asked you to turn that off. Please just leave. I asked you to turn it off. For my safety, this is what's going to happen. I asked you to turn it off. Please. Why not? Because this what is for my safety. Oh, you are a little manipulative. You're choking your dog, by the way. Oh, really? You care so much about him? You won't train him? You need to walk out, please. I am outside the door. The irony of this lady calling the trainer manipulative and then immediately switching her voice in order for the trainer to do whatever it is she wants to do. The cab said I can put him in the car. <laughs> If I don't want him, he's not going to be loved. You don't want him. I, I would love to keep your dog. If you're asking me to take your dog forever, if you want to rehome your dog to me, I would absolutely love to do that. No, I this love right here him. is manipulative. You're telling I am, me. I am not trying to be manipulative. You're telling I am me. I am not. Please. You're Stop. telling me that if I don't take your dog, I don't love him. I just told you before that I'm not willing to work with you. I'm willing to work with your dog. Well, then how? 
How because then, you? because I need to work with you to get to him. Did you not have a relationship with your last trainer for how many weeks? Over years almost? I actually worked with her for two years. Exactly. So we can't continue that relationship. I am not trying to... I'm saying, and I'm going to get angry. I did not say what you think I said. So I need you to acknowledge that. I heard you say it. No, that is not what I said. I said, I don't want him here if you are not going to love him. And I said that I would love him here. Your dog's being taken care of. Your dog is being loved. I am going to give me my dog and I will call the police. About what? You are being manipulative. How? She asks the trainer to carry the food and then freaks out when she does. How is this an actual person? So I've messed up. Like, I did not know that it was there. So I, I want to know how you got to Sault Ste. Marie in two hours. Or so you let, me, let me just be honest with you. I lied. Why would you lie? I don't know. Because I was scared you wouldn't take him. I'm be very honest with I you. I understand that. And it's everything still applies. He can either stay here and be boarded. I need or you to I'm not please. training him. This is the absolute end. I'm not training him. The more that you ask, the absolute more it's going to go into no. Okay, then board him. Okay. Please reconsider. I'm not going to. Please. No. You need to walk out, please. I am outside the door. Outside of the entire door. Well, when you come out with me. Why do you want me to come out with you? Because of yes. Okay. And you can carry my food. I cannot do both. You we'll can take see. a separate trip. Nope. I asked you to carry it out. Are you taking me my dog food hostage? I'm, go ahead, I'm walking behind you. I don't trust to walk in front of you. She's as sweet as pie, or in her case, pa. Hey, no, another pie. You just got run over on another pie. Oh my God. Yeah. Hey. Which side do you believe here? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Well, this gentleman let his chihuahua out to bite me, and he called me because I wouldn't pull out my dog spray that I was trained to spray the dogs with and now he's recording me and harassing me so what's your name actually well if you're done lying and you're tagging uh, her? so you didn't let your chihuahua out no you didn't so why were you telling me not to run from it because everybody's seen it so try to lie again okay are you done lying Can, you want to hear are my side serious? of the story now you're really gonna lie like that can I have my side of the story oh, now man. Okay, so I'm a disabled vet and my dog escaped from the house. 
It's not a chihuahua. And you ran out into the middle of the street. You're harassing me right now. Could you please call the police? This is not a harassment. I need your name, please. Hey. What's your name? Hey, dude. Can I get your name? This man is harassing me. He just pulled up behind the post office vehicle. Yeah, I'm behind it. You can leave. You can leave if you feel bad. If you feel harassed, you can leave. I just want your name. So I can put in a complaint on you. I need your name. He said he's can I get your name? If you didn't do anything wrong, why didn't you give me your name? No, I'm going to report you for the way you respond to me. For your lack of customer service skills, for your unprofessionalism. That's why I want to complain. Yes. Okay. So what's your name? Okay, so you're free to identify yourself. That's okay. Obviously you did something wrong or you wouldn't be ashamed of yourself. Once again, I'm having a hard time choosing a side here. What do you think? They just come, come up to somebody's window and just you're tell them to turn off their house, car. And there's a baby sleeping in there. This is a public driveway. I understand. You're t you can totally do what you want, but I'm just asking you because your exhaust is going right in our window and there's a baby sleeping in there. And I told you we're leaving and, and I told Do you know what I idling laws are? It's okay with you? Do you know what idling I laws are? Three minutes. Three minutes. We've yeah. been here for one but minute. But there's the minute of the law and then there's like common courtesy. We're neighbors. Uh, no, common courtesy I'm just is you come you up neighbors. to me after three minutes. How do you feel about this? this no, no, no. Common answer. courtesy is you come up to me after three He's minutes. Asking, it's just for a baby. Okay. Seat. You can do what you want. You're very powerful. I, big man. No, I told you we'll be gone in a couple of minutes. But why is your engine still running? Because we've been here for one minute. But why is why do you need it running? I don't care about your feelings. But I care about the about law. Feelings. It's about the health. law. It's the law is three minutes. It's called health and safety. For okay, safety. I'm done talking to you. Have a nice Please day, ma'am. Turn off your engine. Hopefully, you have a better day. Okay with you? That's so. I'm gonna ask him to go. Be better. Be better. Uh, can you please leave uh, uh, this side? You're uh, causing danger right now. It's dangerous to stand Ooh. right in the middle well, of the street. Power struggle. I'm just asking you a favor. Uh, can you go on that side, I'm please? I'm asking you a favor. Can you not stand in the middle of the street while? Please don't turn. I live here. Please turn off your engine. Can you please uh, get out of the street? So you just want to distract from like? You, I just want you, you to get out of the street I understand so I can I leave. Also want things. No, I'm not going to be able Are to you? leave when you're standing right oh, there. Well, please. No, not up. until you leave the uh, middle of the street. Not you can't be in the middle of the street, man. No, you cannot. This is illegal. You cannot stand in the middle of the street when the cars are going and coming. Well, thank you for your concern. All right. Safety. I'm glad you care more about me than a little baby. You, clearly, you don't care you about your health right and other people's health because really you're standing in the middle of the street. It's not about my... I'm asking you politely. You asked me to leave, okay. and I'm asking you politely ask to you leave. leave. I said stay as long as you want. That's how I opened the conversation. You're totally welcome to stay. Okay. I'm glad that you're staying here and enjoying your conversation. I just uh, would ask you to just turn off your engine while you're doing it. I will do that if you leave the middle of the street. You want to make it a power struggle? No, no, no. It's I will do that. It's, it's compromise. It's, it's compromise. For a little baby. No, it's yeah. compromise. I, I can clearly <laughs> see that the sooner I leave this conversation, the exactly. you feel like you're not being forced to do Exactly. Right? Thank you. That's really important I appreciate to you right that. now. Your personal power over a little. No, no. No, 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 no. You're mistaken. Bye, Karen. I'm not white. Don't call me Karen. But you, it's not about being white. It's about your actions. Last time I saw someone throw their food in a fit of rage, it was a toddler doing it, not a grown adult. Children in here. I don't care. Obviously, you don't. No, I don't care. You're smart. It's on you. Get out. All right. Yes, right here. Get out. It's right here. It's on you. No, this is on you. It's on you, pal. It's obviously on you. Pick obviously. that up. Obviously. Yeah, camera. Pick that up. Now get out. Cameras. Get out. Get it on camera. Jason Miller is the name. Did you get that? Jason Miller. Write it down. Write it down. Bien, no te acerques. Bien. In the middle of the security checkpoint is where the best debates happen. Truly.
The video, yeah. We really need to put, report him. I'm pretty certain it's a law that if you have a dog, they must be on a leash when entering a store. So when you have two dogs unleashed entering a store, on the phone with the police. Yes, he is. Well, I'm gonna wait for them. Well, then you're gonna wait for them outside of my store. You're on the phone with the police. They're outside. You cannot bring them in the store without a leash. Yes, yes I can. No, you cannot. You have to please leave the store. I said, please. please leave. Please. Are they coming? They are coming to the outside. Please That's fine. leave. I only call them. Can I just get my drink and then no, I go? You Why cannot. not? We cannot sell you like this. I'm Why? We cannot sell you. don't want to listen, so we don't want to sell you. That's it. Why? Because I'm not sell you. You to say. No, you don't. I have. No, only, only for not, 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 be, not if I'm disabled. No, you cannot That's like bring saying because I'm. We told you. No, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's like saying this. Like this is a whites only store. Do you understand? No, it's a whites. You do not have the. You're you're trying to tell me that because I'm disabled. Like if I came in in a wheelchair. I'm a customer, please. Go outside, please. If I came in in a wheelchair, would That's you a refuse? You no, it's the same thing. No, because a guy in a wheelchair can't no. walk, right? Listen, a guy, Rashid, you're the owner, man. Can I speak with you? Can I speak with you? You and me are gonna. I said come outside with the dogs. Listen, we can talk now, or we can talk. We can talk in court for a long time. Do you want to talk? You gonna come outside with me? Yeah. Okay, go outside. Take your I'm coming. I'll come out with you. Out here without a vest on. They are not legally, they're not registered as service dogs. I'll wait for the cops. Okay? No, talk to me. No, I will not talk to you. Well, you're going to talk to me in court. No, 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 you're going to talk to me in court. It's for sure. a long go time. Go ahead. For go a long ahead. time. Go ahead. For like six months, go like ahead. three years, five years. We don't care. We you're, don't care. No, you will care. Their dogs are not registered as service dogs because they don't have a service dog vest on. If I'm, I know. If I I'm lying about that, dog. then I pay a hundred dollar yeah. fine. You'll pay a five thousand dollar fine, but we're but, not. No, it's one hundred dollars. Oh yes, you will. Wants to be in yes, store. you will. Go ahead. You're gonna get fine. Take fined. us to court. I'm going to. Your dogs don't have a service dog. I'm going vest to take on. you to court. So go right ahead. We I'm don't going care. to take Goodbye, you to court. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. I'm going to take you to Goodbye. court. Goodbye. I'm waiting for Goodbye. the police. Goodbye. Did you call them or no? If you can't afford the nail salon prices, don't go to a nail salon. It's that simple. Okay, just send me the money. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? When you get the pedicure, you say $7. He say no, $20. And then when you want to stop, you can stop. But you don't stop. You're very unprofessional, and I'm not paying you. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. You're very He already told you it's $20, $25. No. That's very unprofessional. It's the way you try to come in here and get something for free. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Please, okay, go. Okay. Legally, okay. Legally, okay. Y'all are very professional people. I think he knows that. Yeah, he did tell me $20, but they, they was already done. Like, yeah, they was already done. Like, they were. They were. They would know what to do. They are arguing with you. Go back to your country and make your own money. That's sad. That's sad. This lady really doesn't like answering questions. Why did you send Tyler down to my house with a stick? He didn't come down. He, he wait, 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 know, wait. Where, where did I get the stick from? They were playing. Yeah, Tyler they was, was wait. Playing. When I came down, you sent you had Tyler tied up with those ropes. You sent Tyler down, down to my house. Send him down with what do you have in your hand? You know what? What do you have in your hand? Make something worse out of it. What do you have in your hand? So what? You, you can't keep a job. This is about a stick and your kid. This is about you and your kid. And all you do is there it go is. around. Go ahead. Nobody calls the police on you. Or whatever. The 
Why, why would somebody? Well, well I'm talking about your kid. I'm talking about your kid with a stick. No, I'm talking. Your kid's got a stick. What's wrong with you? You gave your kid a stick. Personality disorder, at the very least. You gave your kid a stick. So you come over to my house. There were three kids playing. With what? No. What were the kids? What were the kids playing with? And Tyler, a what child, were the Leah, kids playing with? Tyler, what Tyler were the kids the playing with? I'll talk slowly. What were the kids playing with? What do you have in your hand? What do you have in your hand? Let's see. I mean, look, you're a father. Let's see. Let's see what you got in your hand. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you see. Uh huh. You're trying to make something worse, huh? Go ahead. And what? What is the problem you have with me? I don't have any problem with you. You got a huh? stick in your hand. Why are you just unnecessarily harassing people? I'm at my house. Look, this is my house. No, you're angry. And look, this is wait. This is this is my house. This is my house. This is my yard. This is my house. This is my yard. Got other normal kids. This is my house. This is my yard. I came down here to get my son, and you're making up weird. Oh, good. You're videoing. Good. Yeah, Look ahead. what she's got in her Tyler, hand. You're never coming back here. Look know, what she's got in her hand. Yeah, right. She got a stick in my hand. You gave your kid a stick. No, I didn't. Their kids playing. What do you got in your hand? Come on, right now, right now. What do you got in your hand? You're sick. Yeah, I got therapy right now. This makes me feel good. I'm, I'm, I'm putting an end to this. I'm, I'm in. I'm in public. No. I'm in public. Look, you got a stick in your hand. You got a stick in your hand. You gave. Liam did what? Liam punched you in the eye. Liam punched him in the eye. And he's crying. Oh boy, you get this? Are you getting this? I got it. Your little offspring. Your little offspring that's just like you. Unfortunately, okay. he's being raised by so you. So let's go. What else? Let's go now. Okay, Liam punched you in the eye, uh -huh. tied you up with the strings. Oh, just as dangerous as a stick, right? Go ahead. Okay, now, now we're at your house. Now we're at your house. You gave your kid a I stick. What did your I, I can. Uh, you heard what the kids were doing. This, this what is else public. Did Liam do? What else did Liam do? Tied him up with rope, shoved him against the building, punched him in the eye. You getting all that? Good. Yeah. Okay, get out of here. I, I'm, I'm on public property just like you were. This woman is the definition of a choosing beggar. Sponsors, I've been asking, I don't know if I'm in a tech box again, but I have been asking for $100 for a photo shoot um, for the last few days, and I haven't really received any response. That's what makes me think I'm in a tech box. I don't ask for money very often from my sponsors, but when I do, I tell them what I need and how much I need. And nine out of 10 times, they, they make it happen. But that's not her only time doing it. Please don't mind my face. I just washed my hair for the first time in two weeks. Look at me. I haven't had Botox in like th six months. I haven't had Juvederm in like a year. Oof rough. Oh, someone help me, please. Whatever. I'm blow drying my hair. We're hungry. And so if someone could get us food, that'd be great.